Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some news regarding AMD's upcoming FX Super Resolution 2.0 and its availability on Xbox. Now, last week, AMD did give us an announcement on their upcoming FSR 2.0 and followed up with some details yesterday at their GDC event. Now, when this technology was announced last week, AMD said that they were not using machine learning for their upscaling. Now, naturally, a lot of people had some questions, and I have to say today we have all of the answers on how AMD is able to achieve DLSS-like quality without using machine learning. Now, the first iteration of FSR came out last summer and it kind of came out with a bag of mixed reviews. Now, overall, I thought that the quality preset did give you a pretty decent image quality. However, when you compared it to DLSS, it just was not resolving the same amount of detail. You got a blurrier image, things, little details like in the background, it just weren't as sharp. You were not getting a crisp image that was close to the native image that you get from DLSS. Now fast forward to Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 and I gotta say, it's on par with DLSS. Now, like usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. But AMD did answer these questions and they went on to say that with any science, which includes software engineering, discoveries are made by analyzing data from experimentation, resulting in mathematical models that can explain the results. These models can then be applied to new scenarios to make predictions. So broadly speaking, machine learning is an incredibly useful set of tools and techniques that can aid and accelerate this process. However, the results that machine learning achieves can sometimes not be the most optimal, lacking the spark of human imagination that can often lead to the breakthrough for complex problems. So what they're basically saying is that they developed an algorithm that does the same type of um, upscaling techniques that are used in machine learning. Now they go on to say that machine learning is just one vehicle to solve the problem. It's not a prerequisite to achieving a good image upscaling quality. Often machine learn based real time temporal upscalers use the model learned solely to decide how to combine previous history samples to generate an upscale image. There's typically no actual generation of new features from recognizing shapes or objects in the scene. AMD engineers leverage their world class expertise to develop, research and optimize a set of advanced hand coded algorithms that map such relationships from the source and its historical data to the upscaled resolution. So basically FSR is requiring three points of data. They did explain it in a diagram. So they're using depth, motion vectors, and color, and developers will be easily able to integrate FSR 2.0 into their games, especially if they already have a temporal upscaling rendering path. Now I gotta say this is some pretty exciting news. Now we have long waited for a DLSS competitor to come and AMD has finally delivered with FSR 2.0. Now from the footage that they released, I gotta say it's pretty much a match for what DLSS 2.0 is doing. I really don't see a difference in the output that both of these technologies are displaying. They look identical to me. Now they're up on the screen so you guys can decide for yourself and as well let me know in the comment section if you think that FSR 2.0 is comparable to DLSS. Now they also gave us a kind of guide on what to expect with certain graphic cards. So if you want to target a 4K resolution using FSR 2.0 they recommend a 5700 and up. So a 5700, 6700 XT, an RTX 2070, 3070 and up. If you want to achieve a 1440p result with this technology, you got to start with a GTX 1080 all the way up to a 3060 or a 6600 on the AMD RX line. As well as 1080p, you can use an RX 590, a GTX 1070 or an RX 6500 XT. Now to be honest with you guys, at 1080p resolution, I'd probably be looking for a much better card. However, if you can't afford a card or you can't find a card, then this technology Technology will be beneficial to you if you have a lower tier graphics card. AMD went on to say that for developers, we're happy to announce at GDC today that the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 will also be fully supported on the Xbox and will be available in the Xbox GDK for registered developers to use in their games. Though for gamers, we do not have a timeline today on when you can expect to see Xbox games using FSR 2.0. Now, 
this is really exciting. Now, I was a little bit disappointed that developers were not using FSR on the consoles, but perhaps they saw that FSR 2.0 was upcoming and they didn't want to invest too much time into the technology. Now, in my opinion, with FSR 2.0 on the Xbox, there is no reason why developers should not use this technology. You can apply FSR 2.0 to give you a better image quality and still maintain the frame rates when using ray tracing. Perhaps there's a game that you want to achieve 120 FPS, you could use perhaps the balance preset. Now they go on to say that it's going to be pretty much the same as what we're used to. There's going to be a quality, balanced, and performance setting, as well as an ultimate setting for developers that they can implement on certain games that meet the criteria. So basically we're going to have a DLSS-like solution on the Xbox Series X. Now many of you may be asking where does this leave the PlayStation? 5. Sony's console is also capable of using FSR 2.0. It is an AMD system after all. However, Sony and AMD have not given us any details at this time on when to expect that technology on Sony's PlayStation 5 console. However, I do expect it to make an appearance. Now, Sony's API is a little bit different than Microsoft, so I think it's going to take a little bit of time for them to implement it. However, I do think this will make an appearance on Sony's PlayStation 5. However, However, we do know that it is available now via the GDK for developers to start to implement to their games. Now, if I had to make a guess, I don't think we're going to see the first games using this technology until maybe the fall of this year. Now, I hope many developers use the tools that are available to them on the Xbox platform. Now, you guys know my rants from before. A lot of the tools, they're not being used. We don't see a lot of developers using VRS, using mesh shaders, using the original iteration of FS. So I hope that at the very least with FSR 2.0 that they start to implement this to their games because overall they're going to get a better image quality, they're going to get better performance out of the console and that's good for the developer, that's good for the gamers, that's good for the industry. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about AMD's FSR 2.0. Now I think it's going to boost frames for the next generation consoles, I think it's going to boost frames on the PC, I think it's going to help with games that struggle with ray tracing performance. I think it's excellent that AMD is taking the same approach as NVIDIA using motion vectors, using temporal upscaling. The only difference is, is that their algorithm was not trained on machine learning, but the results appear to be the same. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.